gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology for the week starting the 18th of March this week. The sun is going into fiery Aries and we have a full super moon which is going to jiggle and juggle with our emotions. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi Scorpio. Oddly, last night I dreamt about nearly every Scorpio that I know. Very, very weird. And here we are today with you, Scorpio. There is a frisson of Scorpio energy in the air. And that is because Mars is going to try and Pluto your ruler on the 20th, which is the same day as the sun goes into your friend Aries. Now, this Mars trine Pluto is bringing about a shift in your relationships. You're feeling very passionate at the moment. You're feeling very intense. You're feeling very able to take control when it comes to your intimate relationships. I have to say, though, if you're in a relationship that's not working, you will be a grumpy old sod this week. <laughs> You'll be like, rah! Because you are not taking any crap. And because Pluto is in your communication zone, you're able to say exactly what you think. And, but there is a shift coming in the way that you relate when it comes to your intimate personal relationships and partnerships this week. And there's just this, you might be surprised, actually, by some of the reactions you have to the changes that are going on around you. When the sun goes into Aries, it makes you want to be very focused on organising your life, getting things done, sorting things out and not taking any crap from anyone. You are like, right, I'm on it. I'm confident to get the job done. You're focused on your work. You could be a saint, actually, uh, when the sun is in that energy. It makes you able to shift your uh, the way you eat. It makes you able to shift anything to do with health and well-being, uh, to declutter and to transform things by just going for it finding it much easier than usual now we have a full super moon and for you it's a very intense moon because it's the last moon in a cycle for you and it's in your psychic center so it's a very very mysterious and magical moon that's going to deliver you a message you may have a psychic intuition that turns out to be really really accurate you may have very haunting dreams do write them down there's likely to be a message for you there. And also, you're just on the lookout to see what's going on. It is a bit murky, and don't forget that mer Mercury is going retrograde. But you're going to see the truth. A secret is likely to be revealed, a very big secret around the full moon. If you've got a secret, I would hide, triple lock your phone. Uh, mind you, if you're a typical Scorpio, you're bound to have secrets. Do things to, to make sure that you, you, you're not kind of, you know, exposing something that you don't want exposed. But it's going to be very revealing. As I say, the next full moon is going to be in your sign. This is the end of a cycle of moons and it's packed with magic and mystery. We also have the moon opposing Uranus. Now, Uranus has shifted, shifted signs and for the next seven years, you're going to have shocks, surprises and changes around your relationships. The moon happens to be in your sign when it opposes Uranus. So there's a big revelation in what you're feeling. There's a big reveal uh, about your emotions. Perhaps you've been blocking something and it comes up with that opposition. But certainly you're being moved to be true to yourself when it comes to what's going on deep inside you. And let's see what the tarot has to say. Of course, this is symbolic. It's not accurate for everyone. Intuit whether this message is for you, but I do tie it into the astrology. Scorpio, Scorpio, divine and deep Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Okay, you might be a bit confused at the moment. You might even be enjoying being confused or arguing with someone, but you're battling ideas in your mind. Clarity will come. Also, you're having a lot of connection with people that you've known in past lives. You have a karmic connection with or a soulmate connection uh, this week. You might be doubting what that relationship is, what it means to you. Because Mercury's retrograde, it may be that someone from your past gets in touch, someone that you felt really connected to, but isn't in your life now. And you're like, oh, I don't know what to think about this. Actually, the energy for you is about leaping forward into the new, about being spontaneous, about trusting your journey, about knowing if you take a leap of faith, faith if you take a leap of faith, you'll be fine. You know, there's, sometimes you have a fear that if you if you really take a leap of faith, you're going to be cast into emotional poverty and oblivion. Um, 
you may be kind of trying to leap away from from feeling that you're not in control none of us can be in control all of the time in fact probably none of us are in control any of the time we have to be the fool and trust in our soul's journey um you've got an offer around you that you're not seeing there's an offer and an opportunity your way coming your way that you, it's very important that you open up to because you are at a new beginning you're at a point maybe not now but you're just about to start a new cycle and you know it's for you it's all about feeling secure financially feeling secure within yourself and there's likely to be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that's helping you in some way you've got three very solid friends around you that want the best for you don't choose to be stuck you know what I mean by that don't you it's like you're choosing to remain and you might be kidding yourself. It's like, now I'm stuck in this situation. But really, you're freer than you think. And this week is going to show you how. Yes, you might be feeling under pressure. Yes, you might have the responsibilities on the world, but this of the world on your shoulders. But this week, you find how to balance that temperance. You find how to balance that so that you're able to do what you want to do and take your energy forward. It may involve letting go of someone or letting go of the idea of someone so that you can free yourself emotionally to do what you want to do. But that will lead you to victory. Making having making that courageous choice makes your life move forward at speed. And believe me, there's lots of changes. And also a possibility of a job offer or you moving forward in your job and that kind of giving you the confidence to take the next step. Anyway, do come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, M-I-C-H-E-L-E, -E, um, and nip over to horoscope.co.uk because it's stuffed with free astrology reports and compatibility. And I've made the membership area much easier to join now. All right, take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.